Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to do clutch control using a pedal camera we'll be looking at the clutch going uphill, downhill, in traffic and all sorts of situations. I'll also show you a video clip of what happens when clutch control goes wrong and people crash. So for more videos like this subscribe to my channel now but let's get straight into it. So the technique I'll be using is I'll be creeping like this and I'm going to be coming up to traffic and different situations, clutch down roll and I'll be doing gas clutch creep and I'll be making the car move very slowly and under good control without braking and stopping dead. That's really one of the main things that people do wrong when they do clutch control is you should not be stopping totally dead. Now here I'll be going downhill when I turn left so I don't need to do clutch control so much here. This is the same kind of thing but it's a different technique. I'll do brake, clutch, steer, then gear, roll, look, go. That's how you should be. If you are stopping all the time, you're doing it wrong. Now I'm going to go left here and I'll show you another one at the end of this road. But quite simply, if you're stopping then trying to do clutch control, you're missing the point of clutch control. You either stop, then go, or you do clutch control. You don't stop, then do your clutch control. It's one or the other. So I'm going to come forwards now when I'm at the end of this road and I'll show you some clutch control there. Okay, so we come into the end of the road now and there's some traffic which is great because I can show you the clutch control in traffic. So the aim is not to stop dead. It doesn't mean you can't stop. Sometimes you have to stop. But I shall go clutch, brake. I'm keeping well back from the car ahead. I'm going to first gear, brake off. That's how it should be done. Gas clutch up, creep. Now the clutch is just about halfway up. And what I'm going to try and do on this section is not stop at all. It's not possible to always carry on, but the point is you should not just be stopping. So I'll do a clutch down, brake a little, brake off, roll. Now here I really can't go, so I just brake, stop dead. Nothing wrong with that like we just said. Sometimes you have to stop. But the point of clutch control is normally you should not be stopping like this. The only reason I am is looking ahead. I can't get anywhere. And if you overdo it, if you strain and strain the clutch, you will start to damage it. So I still haven't moved. It's been about 10 seconds at least since I stopped. It was well worth stopping. I'm now going to start creeping again. So I'll creep forwards and I'll try not to stop this time. I'll go clutch down, brake softly, but not enough to brake to stop dead. Sorry. You brake, but not enough to actually stop totally still. So I'll do a clutch down, brake a little brake off, roll. You don't want the clutch down too long, otherwise that can damage it, but you want to keep rolling, braking softly, but notice I still haven't stopped. So I'll do a gas clutch up, clutch down, rolling, can across the box now, so I'll brake softly. Again, in this situation, I am going to stop, hand brake on, but I can almost get over the box, but not quite, so I'm going to wait back here, neutral, clutch up. That saves damaging the clutch. If you hold it down a long time, can damage it. So I'm going to wait so I can creep again, now I'm going to go. So that is what normally what you don't do, but in very, very heavy traffic, you just can't avoid it. It's better to stop and then go than just creep and creep for the sake of it. Like now we're going to one, I shall creep a little, but there's no point in just creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping just for the sake of creeping. So yet again, I can't go, well I probably can just now, so I'll creep slowly, but I'll do a clutch up, clutch down, roll, look, can't go. So I creep, gas clutch creep, very slow, creep, creep, crawl. I can probably go before this white van, let's see. So I clutch up, down, up, down, up, down, very soft and slow. I can go after the van, or before, and then I forget, you wave me out of that van. So I go clutch up, clutch down, clutch up to the point. Now if you don't know about the biting point, I have done other videos on this where I'll go through it in much more detail. There will be a link to those in the description below. So my clutch is fully up at the moment. I'm not pressing it, but I'm keeping my foot over it in case I need to press it. You normally have your foot there when you're not on the clutch, but in this situation, you don't want to do that. I now I need it clutch down, but notice I'm not braking. Gas clutch up, creep a little bit. So I'll creep and creep and crawl very slowly. Clutch down, clutch back up to the lower end of the biting point. And again, I've done many videos on this before. Clutch down, clutch up, clutch down, clutch up. Now my foot is barely moving up and down. It's about a millimetre up and down at a time. So I'm creeping, crawling. I could just stop, but I don't want to lose momentum. So I clutch up smoothly all the way. My clutch is now off. A little bit of gas. I'll move my foot so you can see I'm not on the clutch. 
the car made beep yeah there you go just on cue uh, that's just something else he misreads the speed sign he thinks the speed's five because he saw that sign saying five on the left but it's not five it's 20 so i'm not speeding so i'm doing clutch down braking a little bit don't stop with the brake brake off roll gas clutch up creep now if i really can't go if it's heavy traffic i would stop and handbrake but we're moving very slowly so clutch creeping up these lights could change so clutch down clutch up can i get through no clutch down i'm going to brake now and stop because i might as well just stop handbrake on no point in creeping with people walking in front of you and i could just overheat your clutch and damage it like the car next to me you can't see that's a shame <laughs> this car next to me is creeping and creeping and damaging the clutch so they're going to change green again soon so clutch into one there are other things i'm not mentioning like checking the mirrors and such but you know obviously i'm checking the mirrors before i slow down and that car I just cut back in front so i'm rolling up to the junction i can't go so clutch one so that car raced away has got it wrong they didn't look there's nowhere for them to go and again i'm stopping because i can't go anywhere and this is the main point of this video you don't have to always do clutch control because sometimes people get into the head that they've got to do clutch control and if you don't you're going to fail the test that's not correct at all you do it when necessary you should do it the majority of the time but nine situations are those we've just had for example now clutch brake one brake off roll because that allows me to go the lights have just changed i crawl through the box i'm not stopping it so i'm fine that's how you do your clutch control now again there are other videos i've done where that explains it much more clearly in terms of exactly what i'm doing this one is more just showing you some practical applications of it so here i've got a crossing coming up they're braking ahead so i'm going to cover my brake i can't see to the right so i'm ready to stop nope i'm okay this taxi's kind of in the way but it'll be out of the way and i can accelerate now up to 30. now there'll be more places down this road where i'll do clutch control so i'm going to cut the video forwards now to some of those situations and i'll show you some more clutch control in traffic and uphill Now another good example of when you need clutch control is when you go to fill up with fuel. You see on the right there there's a garage. If you're going into a garage you need to be able to creep up to the pump, uh, position your car correctly like those cars are doing there next to the pump to be able to fill up with fuel. If you get your clutch control wrong you could go flying into the pump and blow the whole garage into the sky. So <laughs> I don't have any clips of that happening unfortunately but here's some more situations for clutch control. Clutch, brake, into first gas clutch up because i was going a little bit quick for once so i did gas in clutch that's what we call rev matching i'll be doing more videos on that in the future but simply if you're going a little bit quick for one you rev the gas then lift the clutch slowly and it helps take away a bit of jumping now jumping is not a problem when you're driving test if it's a little bit jumpy or lumpy we're not really bothered about that because that's something you, you get with time there's an examiner close to where i work and he also talks about the word finesse he always says the finesse will come with time we're not really bothered about that so again now i'm braking the clutch is up i'm leaving the clutch up because this is also a form of clutch control it's what you call engine braking notice i'm braking with the clutch up you get stronger braking with the clutch up because your clutch pedal there is holding the car back if i go clutch down it rolls away freely it's a bit like being on a bike or a skateboard you just freewheel down the hill so now I'll do brake, I'll need the clutch because I'm going to go in the back of the white car otherwise. I'll go into first gear, brake off, don't stop, gas clutch creep, off I go. That would have been incorrect there if I'd stopped because if I like now clutch roll, gas clutch go. If you just stop dead, you're making it very hard for yourself to get moving again. And you notice again I'm keeping my foot over the clutch pedal but I'm not actually pressing it. So I'm hovering it over the pedal to change up to three. Now I've done that, I can take it away. There's nothing wrong with having your foot around the clutch pedal because if you watch my videos I've done with pupils like Claudia and Lucy you'll notice they tend to drive with their feet over the clutch 
nothing wrong with that you might think it's uncomfortable you might get cramp in your foot but if it's okay for you it's okay for you uh, whatever works best for you as long as it's legal it's good so there'll be more cuts control in a moment probably this white car swerving all over the place look are they drunk or something they're kind of weaving <laughs> weaving around like they're drunk uh, that is what a drunk driver looks like they're weaving left now when they're weaving what are they doing what on earth are they doing are they turning what are they doing are they on the phone or something I don't know what they're doing there but they're all over the road anyway I'm going to keep well back from them <laughs> so they're braking so I'm going to cover my brake I didn't even get to cover the brake I came off the gas that was sufficient to hold me back so I'm going to carry on but I'm being very careful of this white car ahead I thought they were going to turn then did you think they were turning I thought they were going to turn so I do brake a little I don't need to come down from third because third's still fine now this is different depending on your car because all cars have different gears what you call the tolerance of a gear the tolerance is how much you can tolerate if I brake now you can tolerate quite a low speed before I need the clutch so my clutch is up and up and up helping the car brake I might just get out staying in third here yeah, so brake off and off I go. Your car may do that better or worse. You may be able to go slower. You may not be able to go slow. It's all down to your car. That's one place where petrol cars are actually easier. You can brake for longer and go slower in the petrol than the diesel, generally. It's all you know, generally. So I'm covering the brake in case I need it. I'm coming up to a very heavy traffic area. This is Selly Oak in Birmingham. Now, this is very, very bad for traffic especially at the moment with the roadworks going on. So traffic lights, I do mirror, brake, clutch. The change is to green so I don't stop. I go into first gear, brake off, don't stop. Roll, roll, a few seconds is fine, gas, clutch, go. And off we go. Again, covering the clutch so I can press it down and do two. Still covering the clutch so I get to three. And then my pedal comes, my foot comes away from the pedal. This taxi on the right may cut in front. The white car is going to change again. That's the same white car. It was driving erratically before and this taxi may come back over so I know these lights won't change they's, they've been fixed on green recently because the place on the right that was there has shut so those lights are permanent on green heavy traffic that's great for this video so I do braking clutch now I probably can't avoid stopping here but I'll give it a go I know I could overtake but that's not the point in this video we're not talking about making progress I still haven't stopped so I'm rolling, creeping, clutch up slowly. And all I'm doing here is I'm lifting the clutch very slow with a bit of gas. If you haven't seen my other videos about gas and clutch, it's nearly always gas and clutch. In a diesel car like this, you don't have to do gas clutch, but you should. So I do gas, clutch up. Well, I'll make a point about this now. I've mentioned this before, but it's worth saying again. Some people have said in your videos, they said, oh, you're wrong because you don't have to lift to do the gas first. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this now, but if I lift the clutch, listen. See the engine revving? I'm not doing the gas. My car revs for you. Not every car does that. Most do, but some don't. So when people say you don't need the gas in the clutch, you actually do. It's just that their car's doing it for them, and they don't realise. So it's always gas clutch. It's just if you don't do the gas yourself, the car will do it for you. This is really bad traffic, as you can see. I actually made a video about this the other week. Well, I got stuck in this jam for about 20 minutes. But anyway, there you go. That's how you do clutch control. So the idea is, the things to take away from this video, is first of all, try not to stop, but it's not wrong if you do. Don't go thinking you've got to carry on, because you don't have to. It's just better if you don't. And the reason it's better is it shows better planning. If you're looking ahead enough, um, you don't have to stop if you plan ahead. Bad drivers do what you call reactive driving, so they react. Now these lights may change, so I'll cover the brake, I'm ready to slow down, but now I can go, I'm through. A bad driver wouldn't do that, they'd just come up, uh, they'd react by braking, then stopping, then moving off from a standing start. Advanced drivers such as myself don't do that, because we plan more ahead, and uh, talking about planning ahead, I had a crash on this round about a few weeks ago, <laughs> that'll be coming in a video soon. But anyway, I hope that's helped you with, uh, with your clutch control. I know it's not a full detailed description, but I thought it might help you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know. Leave your comments below. Ask me questions about clutch control. Let me know what you'd like to see. Would you like to see more like this? Is there anything 
any particular point you'd like to see made clearer. Let me know your thoughts and your comments. And you see here where it says uh, you can't go right unless you're in an ambulance, buses and emergency vehicles. Everyone just goes right there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on the screen now. I've done lots of them on clutch control. And as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.